Hello my friends, how are you today? I have a PR video for you with this lovely supply box. You can never have enough supplies, right? I love this little box. It's got cute little latches, like a little tackle box. Now, this thing is jam-packed. I was going to go through it beforehand just so I was familiar with what it was. And then I started taking stuff out, and I'm like, I will never get it back in this box the same way. So we are going to go through it together for the first time. So on top, we have these labels, which I really like because they're already numbered. You have room where you can write your DMC code um, underneath there. Next, first thing I see are these adorable light-up pins. So this has a three drill placer on the end, and then this one is a single drill placer, and they're nice so when you're um, doing your diamond painting in low light, you can see exactly where you're going with your drill, which is really cool. We have one set of zip top bags they're really nice um, they're not the real real heavy duty but they're not the super flimsy ones that are going to rip off the zip top when you try to open them let's see are you going to be able to see everything i'm laying out here and then we have another set of bags there this is cool there are two containers of glue so if you find a spot that is not sticky on your canvas, or like I do a lot of times, I will add, especially on the special or partial paintings, um, I will like fill in little spaces if I think it's too sparse. So the glue is awesome, nice and convenient there. We have, ooh, we have two of these little white trays. So one of you was asking me if I had extras of these trays, well, now I do. I had found, I had gotten two kits recently that had these trays in it. So I now have four of these white trays. Um, we have three of the traditional green boat without the opening, which we all know I have a boatload of those. Ooh, I love the color of these. We have four of the pink clips. These are for when you roll up your canvas. You can secure the ends with these. They're kind of like bobby pins, but um, they won't crimp or crease your canvas, which are super nice. So there's four of those. Let's see, we can't see our little boat friends here. We have two of the little spoons. They remind me of the sample spoons from like ice cream parlors, but these are great, especially if you have a big container of drills, you can just scoop out a little bit instead of like pouring it and then like splashing everywhere or bouncing. I should say they don't really splash, do they? We have two pair of the black plastic tweezers, which these are my least favorite. I do not like these. I have not found a good use for these yet. So that is why I do not like them. We have one of the nice metal tweezers here. And we have a nice slab of wax. There are actually two layers in this package. So we have three, six, nine, 12, 15. We have 30 pieces of wax here and I like that they're nice and flat that makes my OCD happy we have a giant of uh, these are my favorite trays I use these the most so this one I like a lot so there's another one of those for my collection let's turn this this way we can then as you notice I'm avoiding this lovely little piece here
Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you this. I'm really, really, really excited about this because I've been wanting one of these. I have one of these um, for my paper crafting, but it's covered in ink from over the years, so I didn't want to use it on my diamond paintings because I was afraid some of the ink might transfer. So this is a brayer. I'll go ahead and open it. And this is perfect for mashing down those drills after you get done doing a section or when you're done with your painting completely. I use my hand. I will turn it over um, on my table and just like rub really, really hard um, on the back side of the canvas so I'm not like popping off drills because I've done that before. Lesson learned. So this way I can do it officially and just roll back and forth with my handy dandy brayer, which Fabulous. So now I have my designated diamond painting brayer. Then, oh my gosh, these are so cute. We have a storage box for drills. Look, it's got little tiny, little tiny latches. Look how cute. These will be perfect for special drill diamond paintings. Wow, these are like snug. Am I opening the right way? Okay, so normally you push in and pull up. These, you don't have to wear. <laughs> I was trying too hard. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I was trying too hard. Okay, so these are nice. They're still um, pretty secure. You just have to hit them at the right angle to get it to open easily. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have 28 of the little containers. Now they won't work for a big painting because they are pretty small, as you can see. There's my fingers next to them. But these are going to be great, especially if you have a, um, a special painting, special drill painting or a small painting that you want to take with you somewhere. This is awesome. Nice and compact. I love that. I'm a sucker for storage containers. Now for the final items in the box we have got seven pink drill pins with grippers on them. I love when they come with the grippers on them because then I don't have to go buy more. So we have our nine drill placer here and a single drill on the other end. Then we have the six drill placer here, another nine drill placer, so two of those, whoops, sorry, two of those. Then we have another six drill, so we have two six drills. Then we have two three drill placers. And then we have our lovely, 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 wow. Let's try that one again. Our lovely little um, spatula. It's not a spatula, but it's, it's perfect for when you want to line up your drills. You can just kind of do like this up against the edge of them, and it will, like, straighten them all out. I also use it when I'm putting away my drills. As I'm dumping them back in my container, I will use this um, to kind of help scrape down the drills that tend to get stuck up here at the top because I've noticed that if I'm tapping down here you know, with my finger, sometimes they fly off up here. So I've tilted it kind of back a little bit and just scrape with this tool because um, I used to, before I had one of these, I would use my multi-placer and of course then they get stuck on the wax. So this is perfect because there's no wax, no sticky at all. You can just scrape it down and then, of course, the original purpose is to push your drills and line them up. So that has one on each end. And then all the other pins have the single placer tool on the opposite end from the multi-placers. Now, the way I personally use the multi-placers, I have one pin that has a nine drill on one end and a six drill on the other. And then I have another pin that has the three drill and a single drill. And then I have another pin that's just a single. So that's usually how I work. And usually I've got um, 
Let's see, I'll show you here. Come on. That's a tight tip. My goodness. There we go. All right, so this is what it will look like. So as I'm working, I find myself working like this. Does anyone else do this? I'll have, you know, I'll put some singles down and then I'll need to switch. So I switch my pen like this and I'll put down my Ellers and then I switch back and forth. So, you know, I'm constantly two pins in one hand. And of course it's easier said than done when I'm, and then I use my single drill to, you know, line them back up. Or I'll do one of these numbers where I'm juggling all three of them because I'm too lazy to put them down and pick them back up. But anyway, I digress. That is usually my system when I am working. I need to do a video where I'm actually working on a painting while we talk, right? You got, I've done that a couple of times. And I don't know. Let me know if you think this camera angle is good. And this, you know what, this box looks like it was originally made to have dividers in it, which I did not get, but that's okay, because this will be perfect to store all of my extra pink pins, because they will fit perfectly without the extra placers. I keep the extra, um, the multi-placers in a separate bag, and then all of my pink pins are stored together. So let's see how I do getting this put back together. So let's, this is a ton of stuff, you guys. This is so much stuff. So awesome. And this is actually from Amazon. My buddy Charlie sent me this. So let me find um, the listing for this. Okay. So this is from Sanner Direct on Amazon. It is a hundred pieces, the toolkit. Um, it is sixteen dollars, fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents. If you have Prime, you can get it. Um, it says free one day, so um, you can get this super super quick if you want it. And then there will be a link in the description box to this listing, so you can see there. That is what the listing looks like. It shows you everything that is right there. This is a fabulous, fabulous deal, you guys. Like, for real. This is a huge amount of stuff for a very affordable price. I really like it. I honestly, I have, I have not used these stickers yet. Um, and I'm not even sure why. You know, I just, I don't know. I just haven't. Because I have them um, from another toolkit that I've gotten. And for some reason, I just, I don't know. I don't even know where they are. I think they might still be in the other toolkit, honestly. Um, and you know what? I will not be able to get these all back in here. Because <laughs> I already forgot how it came. This was in here like that. But I'm going to leave that out because I will be using that. That will go on my desk with my regular tools. And the paint, the glue, the paint. My word, what is wrong with my brain? All right, so we'll get some of this back in here. Just a little bit was will be left over. So there we have it. There is our beautiful tool kit. Look. And I love the brayer. I'm so excited about the brayer really exciting so anyway so check out the description um there will be oh sorry that was terrible of me <laughs> hi hi so check out the description um box the link will be there Get this readjusted again and um, be sure to go check it out and let them know that you saw um saw the video on my channel and um let them know what you think so I'll see y'all soon and um, happy diamond painting.